Elon Musk recently flippantly talked about civil war on Twitter, but when I was a teenage boy, there was only one conflict of that type, and that was whether you were a Britney fan or a Christina fan. Now, I won't lie, I was a teenage boy at the time, so either would have done for me, but certainly the people fell into one of two factions. As it happens, they both went on to have very long and very successful careers. Christina continued her music career, Britney ended up with a residency in Vegas, and both, shall we say, have done really rather well for themselves. Which is why it is somewhat concerning and somewhat upsetting to see the Britney Spears of late. If, when I was that teenage boy having to choose between Christina and Britney, you told me that there would be free, nearly naked videos, and in some cases naked photos, of Britney Spears online that I could access, then I would have ripped your arm off. But now that is the case, and the true reality is somewhat sad. Britney Spears has recently started to post, I would say, provocative if not explicit photos and videos to her Instagram. And these include her dancing in very skimpy outfits. There's also some, albeit edited, completely naked photos of Britney that she herself has shared. And this to me screams very much like a cry for attention. We live in an attention economy and certainly with the birth of Instagram and very much later OF, the quickest and easiest way to garner attention is simply to be sexually provocative, or in many cases simply just to whip your clothes off. And this feels a bit like the trap that Britney has fallen into. Britney has got a history of mental health issues. Now, I don't know the full details of what those issues are. However, they are quite typical of someone who came to fame from a very young age. Don't forget, this was a girl who started off as an actual child in the Disney Club on TV. Throughout her life, she has been in the public eye. She has been probably pushed from manager to manager, obviously she had all the issues with her father, and now her, dare we say, heyday is over. I mean, she's set up for life. She has a massive house, she probably has more money than she's ever going to know what to do with, and so she could comfortably retire. However, she's known nothing else, and like I say, in an economy now which is based purely around attention, the default, the go-to, is simply to become a sexual object, simply to sexualise yourself for the acceptance and the validation of people online. The more concerning thing, and I think the more upsetting thing, is that this is clearly a need for attention. In some respects, it could be considered a cry for help. And rather than the people closest to Britney maybe sort of rallying around and seeing if they could help her in some way, and maybe if her fans and the people that followed her on Instagram and on other social media platforms were to show more genuine concern, then Britney may get the help, support she needs. Right, sorry to stop the video there. Just want to quickly ask a very, very big favour. If you like these videos, do please hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And if you change your mind and you get bored of me rambling on about random things, you can always unsubscribe at any time. Also, if you appreciate the videos, there will be a link in the description to buy me a beer. Yes, the URL says buy me a coffee, but we all know, don't we? Anyway, back to the video. However, of course, the responses are far more typical and far more predictable. Slay queen, beautiful, gorgeous, sexy, whatever. You know, all these affirmations, all reactions to the way she is shamelessly commodifying herself. And it's not like she's doing it for the money. She doesn't need the money. Now, if we look in comparison to a lady in the UK called Kerry Katona. Now, if you don't know who Kerry Katona is, very quickly, in the early 2000s, she was part of a three-piece girl group called Atomic Kitten. Now, just before they got their first number one, Kerry left the group to marry a guy from a boy band. It was that close to their first ever number one, they actually had to reshoot the music video, and that's going to suck and probably leave you with a few mental scars. Kerry then sort of flitted from disaster to disaster, made a few TV appearances, did a couple of adverts, but was quite well known as having a few issues with alcohol, etc. Now, Kerry recently started an OF account, basically in a last gasp attempt to draw herself out of has-been pop star status and set herself up for a comfortable retirement. I don't think this was a cry for help. I don't think this was a cry for attention. This was purely a, an opportunity to get out of the holiday park, holiday camp scene and actually go and make a comfortable retirement for yourself. And I think ultimately she was probably targeting people like myself who grew up thinking she was a bit of all right when she was an atomic kitten. So I'm not going to criticise that. And if that's how you choose to make your money, then good luck to you. Brittany, however, seems to be doing this for a lot darker reasons. She's doing it 
purely for the attention. She may be doing it as a cry for help. And as I said at the start of this video, if you told me these videos and these photos of Britney existed when I was a 14 year old boy, I would have ripped her arm off for them. Now, to be honest, they just make me a bit sad. 